Hey guys, today we will be talking about one interesting and brilliant Mantis member of the Fire Moth organization from the previous era. Bearing the signet of gold, Eden was an extremely famous and wealthy world-class singer who was successful in her career until she became a victim of the Honkai eruption. The flames of the Seven Hersha engulfed the Sydney Superdome stage and destroyed her paradise. She was then rescued by the Moth organization. Heartbroken by the fact that she could not continue her singing career due to the end of entertainment, she joined Moth in hopes of relieving her eternal brilliance and became a mantis. Unlike other mantises, Eden had witnessed the true glory and brilliance of the previous era on her stage. It holds a special place in her heart. This is why Eden had a strong sense of attachment with her era and chose to stay in this world instead of getting on the cryogenic pods like the rest of the mantises. Even during the very end, she was seen to be drinking and listening to vinyl records. Despite Mobius' efforts to bring her along, Eden insisted that her singing belongs to P.E. She then sang and walked to her death. She knows that there is nothing else that she can do, but she tries her best to bless the people around her with hopes in their last moments with her singing. As stated in one of her Elysian Realm recollections, her angelic voice relieves the people's pain. She was deemed as the brightest star of the previous era by humanity. Alright, let's now discuss about some interesting theories surrounding Eden. Number 1. The Star of Eden Although Eden doesn't appear to be as powerful as the others due to her peaceful and calm nature, I do believe that the ninth Divine Key, being the Star of Eden, was actually named after her proving that she's more powerful than she looks. Time Dilation One of the abilities of the Star of Eden has the power to lengthen time when an object is near the black hole created by the Divine Key. According to Dr. Einstein, with every minute near the event horizon, roughly an hour passes for the rest of the world. This coincides with what Eden aspires to achieve, to be in a state of perfect happiness and bliss, her own paradise. Even when meeting with her soon demise during the 14th Hersha final battle, she chose to stay in P.E. and walk to her death, proving how much she desired to stay in her state of paradise. In the Elysian Realm P.V., she also wished for time to be halted for this moment and for the present life to shine like gold. Another skill name of the Divine Key is also noted to be the Lost Paradise hinting at the paradise that was lost by Eden during the fall of the previous era. Number 2. Her name, Eden. Eden itself represents a place or state of great happiness, an unspoiled paradise. According to the Bible, Eden was the garden in which Adam and Eve first lived. The name Eden also originated from Hebrew, meaning heaven or paradise. We all know that Mihoyo's law writing is brilliant, so even the name of the Mantis members have been taught over well. Except maybe Kevin. Anyways, Eden's name accurately represents the glory and paradise of the previous era. Even her background setting has similarities to a garden. Number 3. The Signet of Gold Eden's signet also represents many of her ideals. Gold is a precious metal that is frequently associated with wealth, grandeur, prosperity, and glamour. In some cases, gold is also used as a symbolism of great power and sacredness. Compared to other metals, gold's symbolic meaning far exceeds the rest. According to the Bible, the Garden of Eden had an abundance of gold. Hence, Eden's signet is the perfect symbolism and remembrance sigil of her identity and golden courtyard. Number 4. The Gold Goblet Eden is often seen holding a gold goblet in her hands, with bright red liquid which is assumed to be red wine. In Christian culture, red wine symbolizes the blood of God during the Holy Communion. It is a sacramental wine contained by a holy chalice that represents life and the gift of God to his people. This can be interconnected with Eden's wish to heal the people's demise during the Honkai eruption, and her undying goal to relieve the pain brought by the Honkai. Other than the gold goblet, Eden is also frequently seen together with music sheet notes which represents her time as a musician. 
the vinyl disc titled as Good Old Days is also a very good representation for the concept of art, in which Eden holds very strongly in her heart. And of course, the gold goblet held in her hands is most likely the most important item that dictates Eden's identity as the pioneer in her era. All this symbolism and representations help strengthen Eden's identity as the brightest star of PE. Alicia also deems her as everyone's superstar, with a voice so powerful and special that it heals souls. Eden truly belonged in the previous era. Number 5. Eden's Aria of Brilliance A quick search on Aria reveals that it is a self-contained musical piece for a solo voice, with or without instrumental or orchestral accompaniment. Aria is said to mostly appear when a character is reflecting on their emotions. We can then conclude that the aria of brilliance reflects the extent of Eden's exceptional talent and mastery in her singing. And that's it for this theory and lore video. I had a lot of fun editing this and I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure to also like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. A kind reminder that this is all just my personal opinion on the lore and its theoretical symbolisms, so take it with a grain of salt. And with that said, feel free to also share your own interpretations in the comments down below. Until then, have a good time playing Honkai and a fun playing Honkai guys. Bye bye!